Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm redrawing my sister's art from description only. I did this in December of last year and it was a lot of fun. So I asked my sister Reagan if she'd want to do this again and she said yes. So she found some of her art, wrote down its description, and now I have to redraw her drawing without seeing it. Oh, also, before we start, I want to announce that I'm accepting OC submissions for my next I Draw Your OC video. It won't be my next video, but I will be doing it soon, so I thought I'd let you all know. Also, this is for original characters that you have drawn. It's not for gacha characters. Since I drew gacha characters last time, I am doing original characters this time. I think I'm going to alternate between OC and gacha characters for the videos. Uh, but yeah, if you want to know how to submit your character, all the info is in the description. Anyways, let's start drawing. Like the last time I did this, I'm doing this on my iPad and I'm using Ibis Paint X. So right now I'm trying to figure out the pose and I will read you what my sister wrote to me about the pose. Also, she told me that when she mentions left and right, she means our left and our right. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, for the pose, his head is tilted towards the left and is going down towards his shoulder. His left arm is on a tall rock that covers a lot of his body. We can only see one third of his torso. His left hand is going to the right and is on the rock. His right arm is going straight down and his hand is covered by a fish because I didn't want to draw another hand. <laughs> his tail is going in front of the rock. His tail is kind of wrapping around the rock and the tail is going left towards the rock. It is also going up towards the face. And that is what I'm trying to draw. In this first one, I had the body turned. I can't remember what made me think the body was turned, um, but after reading the description again, I felt like that pose wasn't right. Then we have this one. My issue with this one is that the body doesn't get covered a ton from the rock. In Reagan's description, it seems this rock is really big, but if I make it big and cover the body, it's hard to make the tail wrap around it. So then I tried this third option with the body at an angle. By tilting the body, I could more easily make the tail wrap around and a lot of the torso is still obscured. But when I was thinking of what Reagan usually draws, I felt like this wouldn't be the pose she would draw. So I decided to go with this one. I was hoping maybe I could figure the rock out more as I went. Also, because this is a full body picture, I had to keep upping the resolution of my canvas. <laughs> I kept wanting to add details to the face, but the low resolution was making it tricky. At the end, I think the resolution was around 3000 pixels and my iPad was starting to be a bit slow. Uh, thankfully, this didn't require a bunch of layers, so it was able to work okay. <laughs> uh, according to my sister, this character is a boy and they look like they are about 16 years old and obviously they are a merman. I don't think I mentioned that until now. Uh, they have pointy elf-like ears. His eyes are thin and pointy and he is looking up to the right. His eyebrows are straight and tilt towards his nose, but just a little bit. His mouth is frowning and it is also small and is tilted up to the right. Honestly, I wasn't totally sure how to draw the mouth, but I tried to draw what I was picturing. Uh, so yeah, that's his facial expression and his head. Now we are on to the body. I think it's a little funny that in a recent video, I say I never really need to draw shirtless characters. I never really draw shirtless characters, so I've never felt the need to do in-depth muscle studies of the torso. And now here I am drawing a character without a shirt. <laughs> As I was doing this, I was thinking that I was really glad I did those muscle studies. I feel like they helped a lot in this case, even though a good amount of it does end up being covered. Uh, but yeah, doing those muscle studies helped me draw the merman. <laughs> My sister drew the sketch I'm trying to recreate during mermaid. If you don't know, mermaid is a drawing challenge that takes place in May, and every day you draw a mermaid. Reagan was able to finish mermaid, so that's cool. I didn't participate because I didn't have the time, plus I always get a bit bored with mermaid. I get tired of drawing only mermaids very fast. <laughs> I've tried to do it in the past, but I always end up only making it to like day 5 or something, and then I start to get tired of drawing mermaids. Uh, like I mentioned, the main thing that was confusing me is the rock and its relation to the body. She said we could only see one third of the torso, but the tail is also wrapping around the rock. And if I want the tail to wrap around the rock, I can't make the rock as big as she is describing. I made the rock go to about the halfway point of the torso, and I also slightly turned the torso, that way the tail could come around in a natural kind of way. 
Oh, also on his left ear is a small hoop earring. His right ear has like a chain earring, but I just draw a line. He has a necklace. It is also just a line. We don't see the end of his necklace. And he has a bracelet on his left arm. It is on the thicker side. Uh, that's what Reagan had to say about the accessories. When she said we couldn't see the bottom of the necklace, it made me question if I need to raise the rock up more because I doubt she drew a necklace this long. But once again, this makes an issue with the tail wrapping around. You see, if I raise the rock and place the arm like this, the character's body is placed further back from the rock and he'd have to like tilt his torso to make his tail wrap around, which looks kind of awkward. I don't know. Reagan didn't tell me much about the rock, like how tall or thick it is. So maybe it'll all make sense once I see hers. For now, I'm just going to draw what I feel looks the most natural, I guess. And maybe hopefully it'll end up close. For the hair, it is spiky. The bangs end at the top of his eyes. His sideburns end at his nose. We don't see his neck hair. And he has some shorter bits of hair on the top of his head. So yeah, I just drew a short spiky hairstyle. I figured I'd make it look like a bit of an edgy hairstyle because he seems like maybe he's a little bit edgy. He has the accessories and he has kind of maybe a little bit more of an angry facial expression and the sharp eyes. Uh, so I tried to draw hair that kind of went along with it. Okay, so now that my rough sketch is done, we will do the cleanup sketch. Also, the cleanup sketch will be the final part of the process. I'm not making this a finished illustration. My sister's drawing is a sketch from her sketchbook, so I'll be keeping mine kind of sketchy also. Reagan said that for the color, she used a very orangey red and a more purpley red. Also, the brush I am using is the pencil number two brush. There is nothing that special about it. I just like the texture and find that it works nicely for me. However, I do find that it doesn't get super tiny, even if I set the size to the smallest setting. So that's why I had to make the resolution on my canvas really high so that I could go into the details. I feel like I say this every time I use Ibis Paint X, but I feel like it's been a really long time since I last used Ibis Paint X. <laughs> I think the last time I used it was in this video. I do really like using it, but I don't use it super often in my videos because I am slower in Ibis Paint. I'm not totally sure why I'm slower. It may just be that I often have to kind of think about where things are and how to do things. Plus, I don't find my iPad super comfortable to draw on. It's not as comfortable as my drawing tablet. And so I think this makes me a little bit slower. But I do think it's fun to draw on my iPad for videos because it lets you all see the process in a different way. Someone left a comment asking why I don't uh, film my drawing tablet in this kind of way. And I wish I could because I do think it'd be really neat. The reason I don't is because I work in the family room. And in the family room, there is a, uh, well, family. <laughs> the younger ones run around a lot and this would make my camera shake. Plus the lighting is really inconsistent. Uh, so yeah, the workspace just doesn't work the best for filming my tablet screen. It's easier to record my iPad because it is flat on the table and often I am in my room when I'm filming it. For this video, I was actually filming my iPad in the family room because I had to watch my brother Jack while filming this. And uh, that's why the lighting is kind of different from usual. Although you probably couldn't really tell. <laughs> I'm probably the only one that's going to notice. I mean, you'll all notice now maybe since I pointed it out, but yeah. <laughs> I feel like I don't have a ton left to say for this sketch. So we're going to switch over to the sped up footage captured by Ibis Paint. Like I said, Reagan didn't tell me much about the rock. But when I looked up pictures of underwater rock formations, they are very bumpy. So I drew a bunch of bumpy shapes from my rock form. It was actually kind of fun because I just kind of kept making a whole bunch of bumpy shapes and smooshing them together. Oh, also for the fish, Reagan said the fish is chubby with fish lips and simple eyes. So that's what I drew. Uh, she also said there is a second rock behind them that goes a little above the fish. So I added that as well. Uh, but this time I just made it the silhouette. I felt like the bumpy pattern would be too busy. So I just made it be a silhouette. Uh, lastly, she mentioned the floating triangles that she added to the background. In her sketchbook, she'll often fill up empty areas with shapes. Uh, so that's why she added the triangles. Okay, so here's my version of my sister's drawing. It was a bit confusing trying to draw it, but I am pleased with how it turned out overall. I hope I am close to what Reagan drew. We will see Reagan's version later after I finish redrawing another sketch of hers.
Shout out to Lively Island for sponsoring this video. Choose a Lively, take care of them, decorate your island, and dress up your home avatar. Lively Island is an app that allows for free flow creative expression, as well as a place to hang out with your friends and make new ones. Livelies are these cute creatures that you're researching. This is my Lively Bun Bun. Isn't she cute? Right now she is the default color, but I can change her appearance by feeding her bugs. I'm not sure what color I want to make her. I'm thinking either a pastel pink or a pastel teal. My favorite part about Lively Island is decorating my island. I recently got some really cute items from the shop, so I started decorating. I love the flower items, they are so cute. I also really like to customize my home avatar. You can change so many things about it. Their clothes, hair, facial features. You can make it just how you want. I decided to change my avatar to match the theme of my island. I do really enjoy making my island my own, but I also really like seeing how other people decorate their islands. It's cool seeing how people decorate and customize to make things to their liking. The art style of Lively Island is also super cute and adorable. I really like the simplicity of it. I was kind of inspired by how I decorated my island, so I'm drawing my home avatar in an environment inspired by it. If you like games that let you decorate and customize, I highly recommend Lively Island. It's a really cute and chill game to sit down and relax with. I keep playing it in my free time. Also, if you want to add me as a friend in the game, here's my code. If you want to try Lively Island, there is a link in the description. You can also find it by searching Lively Island in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. More information can also be found on their official Twitter account at Lively Island underscore EN. So go try Lively Island today, and thank you so much again to Lively Island for sponsoring this video. So for this next redraw, Reagan is having me draw a little chibi mermaid, which I was very excited about. I was really excited to draw a chibi. They are simple and fast for me to draw. <laughs> Plus they're really cute. Uh, so I'll read you the description of the pose in just a little bit. But I sketched out two ways that I thought the pose would go. And I felt like this one was closer, or at least I hope it is. So I went with this one. So this is what Reagan said about the mermaid's face. For the eyes, they are round with one eyelash on the front of her eye. She is also making fish lips. Her eyebrows are small and round. Her eyebrows are just kind of sitting there and they look kind of happy. I wasn't totally sure how to draw lips on a chibi. <laughs> I've never really done it before. I just kind of kept playing around with it until I felt like it looked okay. But it was a little weird trying to add the lips. <laughs> Uh, for the hair, it is curly, it's parted on the side facing us, and her hair goes to mid-back. Also, I didn't totally sketch in the hair yet because I felt like I should get the body in place first. So for the pose of this mermaid, she is in side view. She is flowing in a U shape. Her head is sitting up. Her head is on the right facing the left. Honestly, I didn't know what this meant at all, so I kind of ignored it at the time. Now that I'm reading it again, maybe she had her head turned towards us, but it's too late now. I drew it in profile view. <laughs> her arms are straight and with her hand, she is squishing a fish's face. The fish is right in front of her face and is making fish lips like the girl. Her tail is in that U shape I was talking about. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to draw. One part I did find a bit tricky was the arm holding the fish's face. I need the arm to be proportionate to the chibi. And this means the arms are kind of short, but I need them to reach far enough so that she can touch the fish and also leave a decent amount of room between the girl's face and the fish so that they're not like kissing. <laughs> I did some more adjustments later and I feel like it turned out okay, thankfully. Now we are moving on to the cleanup sketch. Regan said she used the color purple and that the background is a light teal. Once again, I am using the pencil number two brush like before. Like I said, chibis are much faster for me to draw. I got this one done in like 40 minutes. The previous drawing took me a little over two hours. So yeah, this one was much quicker. I also didn't find this one to be as confusing, so that's good. <laughs> I actually had a lot of fun drawing this chibi. It was fun making something really cute and simple. Sometimes I kind of forget that it's an option to draw things like this. I think my brain instantly goes to more complex things and I kind of forget about fun stuff like this when I sit down to draw. I'll also, Regan said the mermaid is wearing a striped tank top, so I drew that on the chibi. Uh, but back to what I was saying, I've actually been drawing a lot more landscapes in my sketchbook recently, or like kind of random stuff. I'll kind of draw characters, but it's just their silhouette. Also, did I tell you all about my new sketchbook? I don't remember if I did. I'll tell my patrons and YouTube members about things in my weekly updates, and sometimes I get confused about if I've told all of you or not. 
Uh, well, anyways, my sketchbook is a nature watercolor sketchbook. My previous one was a marker sketchbook, so I've been having a lot of fun using a different medium. And I really like watercolors. I've been enjoying playing around with the watercolors and their texture. I've been making more loose and kind of abstract stuff instead of stuff that's tight and detailed. Uh, so yeah, I've been having fun using it. I've actually kind of wanted to make a video using my new sketchbook, but I don't know if that would be too boring. <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't be super interesting. It would just be like a sketchbook session. And I really like sketchbook session videos, uh, but I don't know if all of you would find it interesting. <laughs> Oh, also, my sister is actually going to draw one of my sketches from my sketchbook from description only on her YouTube channel. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, but lastly, I just filled in some areas in with purple. Reagan didn't specify if she did this or not, but I wanted to do it, so I did. I also added the question mark above the fish, and Reagan did say she included this. And then I added the light teal that she mentioned earlier. Okay, so here's my drawing of the chibi mermaid, and I'm going to go get Regan so that we can see if I was close to recreating her pictures. I hope I was close. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have Regan here with me. Hello. And uh, we're going to look at the sketches. I will show her my sketch first, and the one I'm showing her is the chibi mermaid because that is the one I have open at the moment. <laughs> uh, so I will open it. <laughs> I don't know if this is how it turned out at all. <laughs> She's facing the wrong direction. You said her head was to the right. Yeah, her head is on the right, but her face is facing the left. What? So she's like curving, like her belly is towards the fish. Oh, I curved it the wrong way. <laughs> the fish is like in front of her belly. I probably should have not described the tail as Ariel's tail because then uh, she got the little top bit. I was mostly just talking about the fins. Oh, see, I always add the little top bit. <laughs> I never add the top bit. Often mine just like goes up and just kind of like fades away. Oh, I felt like I was so close with this one. <laughs> like I was like, yeah, I'm feeling good. I bet it's really, really close. And then I turn it the wrong way. <laughs> well, they're both really cute. <laughs> yeah. They're like different enough that it doesn't look like enough like the same picture. Yeah, I definitely didn't get the pose right. So I have the second one open now and Reagan's gonna look at it. Mmm, mm-hmm. I see what you mean by it's uh <laughs> Am I really off? The rock is like way taller. He like has his his arms like here. See, I was debating that and I was even talking about it. I was debating if the arm went like that, but then I thought it'd be weird and I wouldn't be able to wrap around and I wasn't sure. Uh-huh. So I guess you can show me yours and yeah, I'll finally- Your rock is a lot more interesting in texture. Mine's just like- Oh, that's how it is. Oh, okay. See, I was imagining like a pillar, but it's like a rack with a bunch of other rocks. Yeah, it's just one giant rock. Uh-huh. I would have said rocks if it was like multiple. So I was like, well, he's you leaning on a rock. <laughs> well, you see, I was looking up rock formations on the internet and they were all very bumpy. So it's one rock, but it's very bumpy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your hair is definitely a little more spiky than mine. Though. <laughs> I feel like that one looks more sassy than the one I drew. <laughs> okay, but from the description, I thought it sounded like he was kind of edgy. So I made him look a little edgy and like kind of sassy, I guess. Well, I thought I might look edgy, but I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think yours is sassy. <laughs> well, it turns out I got the poses kind of wrong in both of them, but I did get fairly close with this one. I feel like it's very similar vibes. Vibes. Similar vibes. Mine's a little more sassy. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's just chilly. Yours like stuff. I'm sassy. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, those are how the sketches turned out. I'm excited to see how mine turn out on your channel. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, Regan's gonna be redrawing some of my pictures on her channel. There'll be a link in the description so you can check that out on her channel. I do have to say I am a little bit disappointed. I was so close the last time and this time they ended up being pretty different. So yeah, I kind of failed this time. But I did have a lot of fun drawing these pictures and I hope you had fun watching this video and seeing how everything turned out. Uh, like I mentioned, my sister's gonna be drawing some of my art on her channel, so go check that out. I will also be reacting to what she drew over on her channel. Before we end, I want to say thank you to my YouTube members and patrons for their support. 
It means so very much to me. So thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next week in my next video. Or in my sister's video if you go watch it. <laughs> Bye.